was going easy. Good morning. Okay, so I'm going to do the review first. Uh, get that out of the way so I can record this and, and uh, be done. Okay, uh, which I am recording, I believe. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So this morning I had a little bit of time and I uh, made some adjustments to the final. I just. Um, Yesterday, I said I was just going to give you answers of things I didn't cover very well. Um, I just took the judicial matching part out. Because a lot of it was like vocab terms. And I, I mean, I talked about how the court functions. And then I added um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fill in the blanks that are super easy. Like, you would learn this in eighth grade and remember it. Like what? Like which branch of government makes the nation's law? Judicial. Okay, that kind of easy. You know what I mean? Are you panicking? Are you are you panicking? I think you're overestimating. Are you stressing? Really? Really well, no, no, seriously. If you can't answer those questions without me going them. over those with you, then you don't deserve to make them. I'm not stressing. Okay. Well, I'm Your final doesn't scare me. Okay, <laughs> hey, and let's, let's talk about this last assignment, okay? The hats. I started grading the hats yesterday, people. And I'm thinking, okay, this will go quick. It's just 16 matching, right? And I'll just, I'll memorize the letters in order and I'll be able to grade them real fast. You can't grade them real fast because you guys are missing too many. It was confusing. Yeah, Riley spent a lot of time debating. Amongst we literally spent like an hour. We were arguing. Yeah. You almost ruined our friendship. <laughs> 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 like, when we watched your video, we had a tense discussion over that too. I graded <laughs> like 15 of them and Two people got them all right. Us? And two people oh, got like one wrong. Bria, I think you got minus one. No, Bria. I have a problem with this because they were the, the one I missed was two of the same question. I feel I like know, that should be minus things. one. That's just awful. That's a bummer. So you're talking about number three and five, which was C. Yeah. Which Secretaries of each department offer advice to the president. Okay, these secretaries work for the president. He takes their advice. He's their administrator. He's their boss. He's the chief administrator. I think that we should take off one because it was the same question. Yes. You lose. Ah! I'm not asked to speak. Yeah, how did you? I talked about that when I did the notes. I said, what's the difference between him appointing uh, a chief justice of Supreme Court or a Supreme Court judge or uh, a cabinet member? What's the difference? And the difference was the Secretary of State works for the president. He takes their advice. He hires them. He's their boss. He delegates responsibilities then as the chief administrator. Okay. So executive would be the other one. Implementing laws, like implementing laws. Yeah, that's executive. That's like that's what the executive branch does. It carries out the law. So, what would be appointing Who what? What would be appointing a Supreme That would be a constitutional role as chief executive. Wait, how do we see which ones they got wrong, though? I put them in the comments. Have I graded yours yet? Yeah, I just don't know where. How many did you get right? Fifteen out of sixteen. Okay. I also redid it. So I still have a few of those to grade. Okay, because I got bogged down. I looked at my computer. It's ten thirty. I'm like, I'm going to bed. Maybe for urban maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to send me a message, Mr. Ebright, please take that out of the grade book. Now, some people I wrote in the comments. I'm not entering this grade because it will not hurt you because you got 10 out of 16 or you got 11 out of 16. So I just said, I'm not entering it. 
So check the comments. If you did it and there's no grade, it doesn't go into power school. It's because you bombed it. Okay. Everybody calm down. Yeah. All right. Matching. Let me quiz you a little bit here, okay? Government is an agreement between the government and the government. What do we call that? A social contract. Right? An agreement between the government and the government? Here's a tough one. The legislature is made up of two houses. By camera. <laughs> Power is divided between central and local government. Federalism? Thank you, Sam. Federalism. Sovereignty rests with the people. Popular sovereignty. What kind of sovereignty? Popular. Popular sovereignty. FDA live panel meets to determine whether Moderna's vaccine will move forward. If I have a choice, I'm taking the Pfizer vaccine over the Moderna vaccine. Did you invest stock? No. Oh, my, my brother-in-law did. He made a lot of money. In five, I'm sure I have in my mutual funds, you know, some pharmaceutical stocks, but I don't trust. Mm. Dr. Fauci and Bill Gates are, all, you know, part owners of Moderna. I'm going with Pfizer. Is Moderna put the like you were explaining on the video? Like, do I don't know how theirs work. <laughs> okay, I just heard some things about Moderna, and I'm not a big fan of Bill Gates right now, so. Um, what was that one? Okay, here's here's one. Okay, you got to think a little bit. The executive and the legislature are independent of each other, yet coexist. No, that's not one of the choices. So you have the executive and legislature. That are independent and they coexist. So, is that a presidential system or a parliamentary system? President. It's a presidential system. Remember, you can't be in the Senate and be president at the same time. So, eventually, Kamala Harris is going to have to give up her Senate seat to be vice president. She hasn't given it up yet. Okay. Yeah. Um, is so. We don't have like a subject for this, so I just like state the names of guys for the individual sections. Mm -hmm. Will that work? Oh yeah, you can look over that. Right. Yeah. If you guys fill out those study guides, you can study those for sure. Okay. Plus, I just gave I went over six questions from the first nine, I think. So keep going. <laughs> the other three. No. Okay. This person was the most prepared going into the Constitutional Convention. James Matz. This person was the most vocally opposed to the new Constitution. Is this like a thief? Yeah. Patrick Henry? Patrick Henry. Good job, man. This person got us out of debt as the first Secretary of the Treasury. Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton. This person was the president or the chairman of the Constitutional Convention. He had gravitas. So, um, 
George Washington. Okay. That's too easy. Gave the District of Columbia the right to vote in presidential elections. 23. 23 rhymes with DC. Three. Electoral college. When a person votes for, oh, that, yeah. When a person votes for candidates from different parties for different offices in the same election, a split ticket vote. <laughs> These, I mean, guys, come on, this is like a um, group of people who seek to control government to bring about the adoption of certain public policies. Party. Could be a political party. Controlling government. Okay. Interest groups don't control government. Well, Okay. Must be a citizen for seven years to be a member. House. Senate. Senate is nine. Yeah, I think you missed that one. Yeah. Approves treaties. The government's power to take your land if it's in the public interest. I think somebody missed this one, so let's go ahead and do it. Wait, what did he say? What? What did he say? Eminent domain. No. You want some? No. no. So it's all maximum? Except for those last easy fill in the blanks I gave. I went to 50 questions. Oh, it's all matching. I thought it was going to be good. It's all matching. Except for the last. What? What? No, oh, I, that was good. Like, that's easy. I know. Good. Is it like um, sections of matching? You can keep going here. Okay. Wait, is it sections of matching or is it just matching? Like, what? Is it like the whole thing is matching, or is there like sections it's for all each thing? all matching except for the last seven fill in the blank, which you have to be brain dead to miss. <laughs> but I mean, like, is it like sections? I don't Stop know. talking. Stop ah! talking. Oh, yeah, so many missed this one. Uh, not many, but a couple did. A tax on imports tariff. is a tariff. Hats. Hats. This is illustrated. In the State of the Union address. So, Chief, what? Legislator. Brokers a deal with the Iranians to exchange oil for food. Chief, diplomat. I'm going to give you one more. Illustrate. No, I already did that one. Okay. 
represents the U.S. at the wedding of Prince Charles. Chief of State. Head of State. Chief of State. Yeah. Yeah. How many members are there in the United States House of Representatives? Hey. If you're worried about this, you shouldn't be, but if you're worried, study your old study guides. Um, I will see you guys uh, when you show up for your final. Okay? Peace. You're going to do fine.